Hello my fertility friends, I'm Anne and in this video I explain to you all about the cervical mucus and how to get pregnant with this sign of ovulation, which is really the best sign of ovulation, I think, if you want to get pregnant. Cervical mucus has four essential functions that are important for successful fertilization. The first function is feeding the sperm. You know, when the sperm gets into your body, then it feeds on the cervical mucus. The second function is moving the sperm. Yes, at the time in your cycle when your ovulation is, then also the cervical mucus helps the sperms to get from your vagina to the uterus. Filtering out the dysplastic sperm is the third function of the cervical mucus. You know the sperm with the lower quality is filtering out from the cervical mucus because of the structure from the cervical mucus yeah? like this and the sperm cannot do this because maybe it's not optimized um, to go through this. And this is really important because the winning sperm should have the best quality. Okay, the fourth function of your cervical mucus is the protection for the sperm. You know, without your cervical mucus, the sperm cannot survive very long, only up to three hours. But with your cervical mucus, the sperm can survive up to five days. That's very good, isn't it? So why is the cervical mucus the most important sign of ovulation? That is because the cervical mucus shows you before the ovulation, clearly when you are fertile. Unlike the basal body temperature, which only show you after the ovulation that there was an ovulation, it's different to the cervical mucus because the cervical mucus shows you before the ovulation. It's clear. If you observe your cervical mucus during your cycle, then you have some different types and qualities of your cervical mucus. And near your ovulation, some days before, one, two, three days before, maybe your cervical mucus looks like in the inside of the, such a aloe vera plant and it's maybe transparent and spinnable like this yeah and you can see really transparent and stretchy and you can take it in your finger the cervical mucus shows you directly what your osteogenic level looks like. Yes, and this you can also see in this picture. In this picture you can also see that the peak day is on the same day like the estrogen is also on the peak day. And that's why the cervical mucus is the important sign of ovulation for you when you want to get pregnant. So the next point is, it is very easy to monitor your cervical mucus because the only one you need is your fingers or you take some toilet paper to look at your cervical mucus and if it's stretchy or not stretchy. And the best thing about cervical mucus is your cervical mucus and of course the interpretation and observation of your cervical mucus is free. You don't have to buy any tests or computers or something like that because your cervical mucus is in your body, it's naturally, you can see it only with your eyes. You need no microscope 
to interpret your Sarikamukus. It's so easy. That's so cool that it's for free. Okay, but a really good idea is also observe your basal body temperature because only the cervical mucus cannot say to you if there was really an ovulation in this cycle. Only the basal body temperature can clearly say to you if there was really an ovulation in the cycle because of the temperature wise. If you know this then it's really clear and you know the basal body temperature is for the analytic is really important for the whole picture and of course the cervical mucus is in this picture and the cervical mucus show you exactly when is the best time for having sex when you want to get pregnant. Now my conclusion about the cervical mucus. It is feeding, moving, filtering and protection for the sperm. In my opinion, the cervical mucus is really the most important sign of ovulation that you have. I can only say use it for having sex and to get pregnant. Cervical mucus is free and very easy to monitor for the most women, I think for 99% of women. And you only need for this your eyes and your fingers. I think it's really a good idea if you use the symptothermal method with the basal body temperature in combination with the cervical mucus. If you want more details about this, then take a look in my ebook. And I said bye bye, that was your end, and that's the end.